Africa today to take a look at this early 99 Nissan Silvia S15 spec R in this video I invite all of you to come and take a closer look at this beautiful S15 together I'm here to take a closer look at the car and every, if everything checks out you're about to make a purchase of it so everyone let's take a look at the car first things first let's first take a look at the exterior of the car real quick and as we look at the car as usual I like to tell you guys a little bit about the market for S15s overall in Japan. As most of you guys understand, Nissan manufactured two types of S15s, well three actually, but uh, mainly Type S and Type R. Type S edition ones are not that much wanted in Japan because they come as a non-turbo and mostly five-speed running transmission as well as automatic transmission as well. It is more of uh, for major drivers of sports car or for, for that matter drifting and of course Nissan manufactured Type R model as well which is this one and Type R models come these are really good with six speed manual transmission and also in turbo model with 256 uh, HP if my memory won't fail it so everybody as most of you guys understand one Type R Type R that's why it is almost double more expensive in Japan to give you a quick price overview if S15 Type S is about 1.5 million yen really nice one in Japan Type R one is 2.5 and 3 million yen so in today's video I have a special customer who sent me to take a look at the cars in inspection before purchasing it and here I am inspecting the car we got to see ins and outs of course we start the inspection with the quick look at the exterior of the car and so far so good as you guys can see that there's minor scratches and cracks here and there but I mean like scratches with nothing compared to the age of the car which is 21 years old already these are really good paint is original everything looks to me so far so good pretty good for 21 year old car there's a little bit of scratch here as well no big deal all good so this car guys is available for sale at a special dealership today and uh, currently if there are let's say 60 S15s for sale in Japan about 50 plus of them are spec S edition and as you guys understand spec R's are therefore very very rare this one guys is early A9 uh, one of the first manufactured S15s as you guys can see that the car looks pretty much stock and so far so good the exterior won't fail us let's take a look at the on the body of the car as well real quick guys and voila pretty clean don't you guys think There's nothing of a rust here I mean of course there is a little bit of rust here and there but I mean considering the age of the car it's nothing I would say this is the exhaust on the car and the body very clean in very good condition as most of you guys can, can see that here we go so exterior so far so good checks out I would give the exterior about 4.5 out of five for considering the age of a car which is really high grade if you guys understand just a little scratches here and there but that's pretty much it exterior looks really good particularly considering the fact that underbody is so clean i would give 4.5 out of five for the exterior of the car now let's take a look at the interior of the car guys as you guys can see that the yeah everything looks clean take a look at this guys this one came from the factory so the previous owner kept it oh my god this is so rare for a 21 year old car carpet as we take a look at it looks really clean and you got to see before i say that guys the mileage of the car which is just 16,000 kilometers that means car hasn't run much obviously for that reason as well it has to be very clean too so interior guys very clean seats this is not smashed seat is almost brand new backside seats look also really really fresh which is really good now let's sit in the car feels really comfortable of course it's got the uh, uh, some few extra upgrades on the car someone is calling me on my phone i'm gonna reply a little bit later let's check the aircon real quick if it works yeah works really good cool air is just hitting me let's boost it several times so far so good i'm sorry guys it's a little bit sunny here but um yeah as you guys can see that 
carpet, dashboard, the seats. I mean, it's got the it's got the factory factory audio system as well. So wow, this is really clean. In here, guys, as you guys can see that, pretty much very clean as well to me. I don't see any issue with the interior. Oh my god, this is such a clean interior as well. Let's see from this side of the interior. And let's see if it is very good condition. Yeah, as you guys can see that, very good condition. Nothing, I mean, the carpet really clean. The body is very, I mean, glow box dashboard. Very much, as you guys can see that, oh, this one has still the factory, the, 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 the tape on it, still on it. Really good condition. Interior, as most of you guys understand and can see, really clean as well. About 4.5, maybe 5 out of 5, who knows? Very, very clean. Another point we would like to take a look at is, of course, the most importantly, oh, look at the car. Nice. Most importantly, engine compartment. Let's open it up and see how the engine compartment looks. Yeah, right there. Did I notice it earlier, guys? Yeah, a little bit of a uh, little stone touching it, I guess. But, uh, that's not much. Here we go. Voila, ladies and gentlemen. Very much stock looking engine compartment of the car. Looks very clean. Guys, this is the dust that has formed over the, like the dirt formed over the past many years, as you guys can see. But kind of, it's not rough, but it's not the engine compartment. Really good. Last time, I guess, we changed the engine oil with 16,000 pounds. Just recently, guys, just recently. Which is really good. So the chassis number of the, car, of the car right here. And I tell you what, as I take a closer look at the car, I'm falling in love, falling in love with it. It's relatively stock, as you guys can see that. 16,000 kilometers only, no rust on it. And cars like that, guys, is extremely rare extremely rare and this is exactly the type of cars that you want to invest in because the value of such cars is going to keep going up and up especially by the time you become USA import vehicle engine compartment so far so good looks really nice let me sit down here inside and let's talk a little bit further about the car so so far so good this was a quick look at the car I'm gonna take a closer look at it and uh, send of course our customers special photos and special videos on the car but uh, what do you guys think? Tell me guys. I mean, finding it this clean. Take a look at the, take a look. This is so clean. The roof is felt, the roof felt so fresh too. This is such a clean S15. What do you guys think? Cars like that is worth it. I won't leave the price of the car for the privacy of our customer. And, uh, and I think this car is very much worth the price. Um, that I came to take a look at it for. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very clean, oh, there's a car camel coming. Very clean inside out as you guys can see that. And honestly, I was expecting it to be not as clean as this one. So that's what happens when you, when you do the inspection. Sometimes 70% of the time, I don't, I, I, the quality of the car is a little bit lower than, like, than you think. But uh, sometimes I guess, as you guys can see that, it's way much better than what you think on the pictures. So um, I think our customer will proceed to purchase this and uh, I won't leave out his name for the, uh, for the reasons that I didn't get his permission to make this video yet. But uh, it's just for myself and for you guys, I guess. But uh, anyways, what do you guys think? What do you think, guys? Um, S15 is this legendary uh, drift car, as most of you understand. It's probably the best drift car ever manufactured. Um, and uh, a lot of drifters, of course, love the S15s, spec R's, of course, and their value is going up in Japan. Uh, and uh, cars like that is becoming very, very rare over time. So, what do you think? Did I miss anything in this video? What do you think the value of such cars is worth it? You let me know in the comments below and feel free to ask me if you have any questions. And if there's a car that you're interested in Japan that you want me to take a look at or purchase the car for you and ship it out and deliver to you in any part of the world, feel free to reach out to me, guys. So, it was a quick inspection video of this is 15 and I'd like to thank you all for watching this and look forward to see you guys in the next videos to come. Cheers.